And we are live. It's the B-Side Show. Act like you know. And and every fourth Monday means it's the Oracle Edition. You know what time it is. My name's Rabbit, by the way. I'm Danny K. The, the Bad, Bad Day, Day Killer. killer. That's bang, right. bang. With the bang, bang at the end. You already know, man. We got another dope lineup. Uh, she curates the show every fourth Monday, and it's always lit. Uh, we got the homies, man, stopping through. It's going to be good times. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, who we got, Danny? Sick ass lineup tonight. Yes. In honor of Father's Day, happy Father's Day to all y'all out there. See, we don't always get forgot about. Danny no. K did a Father's Day edition today. Yo, you know what my I'm pops was my best friend. That's right. So I know how important fathers are to not only the family, but the community as well. I That's wanted right. to make sure to honor fathers for this month. So we have fathers and hip hop in the building. Yeah, man. That's Woo! right. Our brother Justified is here. That's uh, right. He's got a lot to talk about, a lot in the works, and a lot he's been doing in the community and, and whatnot. We'll talk about it. And then yes. uh, we got the homie, man. I haven't seen him in the a cool OG. minute, but I, I like to kick it with him whenever he's around. Man, Big Hurt, yeah. the terrible the man. Terrible. In the building as well. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And, and shout out to our man uh, Hogs over here for coming through That's and rapping right. for us. You know, Holding uh, it down on yeah. the ones and twos. That's right, man. We're going to get right into it, D. Yes, let's get into it, y'all. But, but don't forget. We're going to air some new music videos. Ain't nobody seen them yet. They are exclusives, and that's typical to the B-side. Yeah, yeah. That's how we like to do it. That's Plus, right. we, you know, we get live performances sometimes, too. You know, that's how we do it, that's man. That's right, y'all. But we always got to start with the DJ, so let's run you it. You ready, Hogs? He's DJ ready, Hogs. y'all. D -d DJ Hogs in the mix. Right? Smoke coming out of the mic like light days Murder it, six out of you that I'm just a third of it Heard of it, feel the track when I first put a word on it But you don't give it up, the cycle living low Bring it up, fast and hot, the death and original You get it, got it, this melodic shit sounds psychotic Making me sound robotic, you panic like your breath got it When my crew comes through with a murderous rhyme, you can't dodge it That's right. DJ Hogs on the ones and twos, man. Yo, Dro yo. Dropping shout that out fire. To, shout out to DJ Hogs knowing what's up with the dress code tonight with the dad shirt. Yeah, yeah. Bro. That's it was a right. Father's Day theme and he understood the assignment, yes, man. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yo, hey, man. Fighting. Real talk, right? Shout out to all the fathers once again, though, doing your thing out there handling business, man, for yeah. real. So, and what's up with it, D? Well, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to all the artists, DJs, and MCs who join us, man. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say thank you because I got these things in my hand right here, and I want to explain why I have them. This is some art by a, a really dope artist. Okay. Uh, her name is Angela, right? Her name is Angela, and uh, shout out to Chris Manlo. He supports us with the photography, but he uh, picked these up off of her Facebook Marketplace. And it's just a reminder of how we should definitely be supporting local artists and giving people an opportunity to not only be creative, but also to bless our spaces with their creativity. So I just wanted to show you some of these. You want to check them out? You know, um, the thing is, too, Look at this I think all of us do. Yeah, I know this one looks crazy right here. I think all of us, you know, most of the team here at the at the show, well, I'm going to set these aside. They, we do a pretty good job at trying to support you know, uh, independent and local artists and stuff like that. But you know what, Manlo, I give you props, bro, because you take it to another level. I, I like once seen this this uh, this old homie, man, and in, in, uh, was that Azusa, right? Or was it Glendora? He was selling homemade birdhouses. Ooh. And I and I had happened to see the dude, but I didn't have cash on me, and I felt and I felt bad because I was actually at work and I wasn't supposed to, but I wanted to go support. And I saw it was a trip, and I see on Manlo's page, he's like, "Yeah, go support the homie selling birdhouses like that he made him." So I thought that was dope. So yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to show these and just tell y'all if you are artists keep creating if you have kids at home nieces and nephews at home and they're artists support their art um it's definitely appreciated oh, when we do crazy, i know right? i already saw oh, a few yeah. that i want 
Right. So the heat is too hot. Nice. Yeah, it, w- it got warm in the house. I think that's part of the same piece. This is a two for one <laughs> special right here. <laughs> <It comes like laughs> hey, well, listen, yeah. listen, man. If you guys, if you, ha- and especially if you have to be like shrooming or something, these will really get you going. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an antidepressant, a yes. natural one. So <laughs> I'm, if you're I'm looking to around, man. <laughs> heal your mental health, you can consider something along those lines. But yeah, shout out to DJ Hogs. Look, supporting the artists already. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, and you yeah. know what? Uh, I got to give props and shout out to our sister D right here, Danny California, the bad day killer, man. Yeah. She did it, you know, for um, doing her thing in college and really she went back to get a higher education and do stuff that so she could help more in the community by the way um but she excelled at it she made a speech and everything so shout out to you uh for that thank you so much i appreciate that it was a huge honor i did get to deliver the commencement speech for the 24 25 uh, academic year so that was uh, maybe it was 23 24 i don't even know because my brain is like eh but yeah, I got to deliver the speech. and Her brain worked that day, though. It so, did yeah. work. I've gotten through it. I've survived. And yo, they gave me four days off. And then I right back to school again. And um, so I'm hoping that I'm going to actually end up with a uh, master's degree, a juris doctor degree, and a and hopefully, if possible, a degree in public policy that I'm, I'm trying to get. So I hope it works out. There it is. You set yeah. your mind to it. You can do it, man. And, and especially like... Uh, Danny sees the the bigger picture involved. You know, it's it's uh, bettering herself too, but she's about helping others. So she sees what she can do with that education behind her as well. So it's important that you. we set a good example, right? right? And so that's honestly why I did yeah. it. I just wanted to set a good example for my kids about education and the benefits of it. And speaking about good examples, Rabbit is amazing with the good examples. He's a coach for I'm, his I'm, daughter Bunny. I'm just yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to do do my part. Yeah, but. Um, I, I see the effect it has on other kids that are not mine too because um, you know coaches got to volunteer and stuff like that so yeah we, we it'd be cool to get more of those and especially in the cities and stuff where it's kind of scarce uh, but kids are getting back to the park I do want to say that because um, you know when we were kids you know we were outside like we, we weren't always on a tablet and all that because it wasn't out yet we were outside yep. You know, playing football in the street, baseball, Dang. whatever it was, I dog. Go get it. All that shit, man. And and uh, but kids are getting back to the parks now. And shout out to all the people putting the money back to the community because um, we they had an increase in teams this year, so it was evident. Like they had to actually make more teams, have more days for games because um, it exceeded what they usually have. So that's that, that's a good thing. And coaches make all the difference, circling back to Rabbit again and how amazing it is. I still talk about my coaches from high school. I was in basketball and volleyball. And Carlin and Ryan from USC, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. For real, man. And sometimes you might, some of us don't have our dads around. But we have coaches that are consistent, whether they're female coaches or male coaches. It's an adult we see consistently on a daily basis. So if you're considering volunteering or doing something like what Rabbit does, Hit him up for some advice or just go in and choir. Yeah, but definitely where, where consider you're at. being a mentor to somebody. The you parks will be happy, you know, wherever you're or wherever your skill is. I, my whole thing was uh, my daughter was going to start playing sports and I, I'm going to be there anyways. And the, the very first season, like it was basketball and I, I couldn't keep myself off the court in the very first practice. And but then they told me, hey, you got to go through all the I did. all. So I went and did all the stuff. You got to go get the, the background check and all that. And you know what? I like. I have my days back in the day, but I, I didn't do, do no weirdo shit. So I'm good around the kids on the park. So, you know what I mean? No, I'm saying, you know, they don't they don't judge your, your past. You know what I mean? So we all grow and we get better. And um, so I mean, their coaching is the, the final thing of it is I'm coaching. I'm helping the kids that some of them don't have um, a mother and father in the house. Like there, we got a kid. Her, her grandpa brings her. You know what I mean. Another one. You know his his dad's not always around. So they do look. I, I realize that they do look up to the coaches it's and mentors. It's really helpful. So, yeah. So. And a hey, even if you have a background. I'm not a weirdo, but I'm a violent yeah. offender. No, that's what I'm saying. I got shit on my record is my point. 
<laughs> I just, you know, it's nothing that can keep me away from the park. So that's that's what I'm yeah. trying to tell you. Ment- mentors are needed regardless. You feel though. me, Herc? So I'm, oh, I'm finishing up my two-year anniversary as a peer mentor. So shout out to my rising scholars. Shout out to my roses. It's been an honor being your peer mentor. If you're watching, I love you. I wake up every day excited to come and work with you. And I believe you guys have changed the trajectory of my life. I know what I want to do now. Being Thank an advocate, and focusing on public policy, making sure that some of our underserved populations are represented in spaces where we don't always have a voice. That's what I'm working on. So shout out to y'all. I appreciate you. And my point with that was not to impress you, but to impress upon you that even if you are a weirdo or <laughs> if you are a violent offender, such as myself, there is still need for mentors. Right. There's still need for a mentor. I mentor the formerly incarcerated, and I show them their way through higher education. So we got people getting out of jail, and they're starting to go to school. (laughs) For the record, I was speaking on a specific type of weirdo, but yeah. We know the type of weirdos. We know. But listen, here's the point, too, is um, Danny and I both, our points kind of mesh because if we don't help ourselves and our communities that need it, who's going to do it? So uh, we're, we're giving back and doing our part, and we hope to encourage people to do the same. So, Eso, uh, that, that, that edition of the b-side show real quick some shout outs everybody you know shout out to you guys in the chat room ray rice lopez empire what up dog mr magic sister asia what up mike talk muwazi she's right here she's bang, chilling bang, she's bang, doing her thing consular williams nest the sickness still authentic and mr ariano thank you guys appreciate y'all and all your comments and congratulatory remarks thank yes. you for that as well without further ado we got special, special guests in the building. This man has fully inspired me as a mother to honor fathers on a daily basis. Not only did I see their value, but I might have been one of those moms before who would celebrate myself on Father's Day. I don't do that anymore. I focus on fathers, and that's thanks to you. Let them know who you are and a little bit about what we're talking about right now. It's your boy, Justified Fathers in Hip Hop. Glad to be back on the B side. This ain't the first time. Yeah, yeah, you know you've saying? been here so, a few times, brother. You know, we just uh, out here pushing that narrative, trying to put fathers in that positive spotlight, and we've been doing it for some time. And I, I see other movements growing from it. And you never say, "Hey, they stole this, they stole that," because God gives inspiration, right? So when you see something that you had a pivotal position in making happen and you see it spreading, that's a blessing. See, that's when you think of things through the eyes of love and not hate. I could be bitter like, oh, hey, well, they wasn't doing no father stuff. But no, I'm glad that what we are doing is being embraced and carried along. Well, you, I like you, how you brought the preacher voice out. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you, no, no, you planted the no. seed, though, you know, because... One of them. I feel like one of them. Yeah, you know, because you know, I mean? maybe, maybe, you know, even if somebody was thinking it or was a thought in their head before like you know what came about is like you know sometimes we're underrepresented you know they only celebrate mother's day and this and that for whatever the motivation is though um i i feel like that point is not enough the fathers that are doing it right don't get acknowledged versus it's always about the negative the ones that ain't doing their shit you know what i mean that part yeah yeah so i just wanted to commend you on that for even having the thought to push that and show people what what time it is let's talk about one of the first events that you did because you've been doing them for a while 
but they've evolved over time. And of course, they always honor fathers or they support fathers in spending time with their children, which is beautiful. My most favorite one. I know you're going to know which one it is. Daddy's on Wheels. Daddy's on Wheels. That That's was amazing. It was there and very much a part of it. It was amazing. I'm going to tell you what Justify did was he sponsored anyone who wanted to come and bring their children skating. He paid for the father and their children to come and skate and they got to enjoy themselves. And the reason why that one touched my heart so much is because I raised all my children to roller skate on the on the quad skates, like roll balance, you feel me? And it was really difficult for me to pay for all of us to consistently do what I wanted them to do anyways. It was a struggle. So for me, that really touched my heart because I know there's some dads out there that might be paying child support or might have you know previous debt, and then they get their kids, they wanna do something with them, but you know what goes on behind the scenes is a lot of their money is going in other places so they don't really have any money to do something with the kids for the weekend and so when justify did that i thought it was really amazing but that's just like the tip of the iceberg let's go into some of the the earlier events and what your current events are well i think uh you know when we first started um doing the events and wrapping them around fatherhood it was just taking something that i already did i was already you know throwing showcases and it came a point where it was like, okay, I got to start partying with a purpose, right? So I used what I knew how to do and putting events together, and then I just made the focus fatherhood. I mean, something as simple as when you get on the stage, say, where are all my fathers at? Yeah. You know, and the crowd go wild or not in some yeah. cases. <laughs> um, so, man, this whole movement, like, really grew legs of its own. Where it's at now, I never even thought about those things but as time moved forward God continued to show me the next steps and I like we used to say follow the wings I was just following you know they say he'll direct your path he'll guide your footsteps so I really just let go let God and, and follow so he's leaving some of the stuff out so another thing that he would do would be um he would meet he's being humble families all families um at a, a spot to get things that they needed whether it was back to school items or maybe sometimes it would be a toy um so i remember toys i remember some back to school um and then you amped it up and you were like you know what i want to put on like a dinner like a grown and sexy some fancy some gambling some like casino vibes some like get all decked out in your sequins my g and come out with the pointy shoes and whatnot because we gonna honor you tonight for being a father and some of the fathers that he honored they actually didn't have kids but they were great mentors to younger men as well so because you ain't saying it so i'm like well i mean there's so much to say and it's good to know that you know people remember because you were around a lot and um it elevated we started really just honoring artists rappers in the game you know our very first honorees was player ham from the penthouse player click and uh, rest in peace, badass, his father, Chester. What up, bad? And rest those in peace. were the first two men ever given an award. And, you know, badass was there to present his father with a Fathers in Hip Hop Award. So that first show always, you know, will mean something. And then it goes from there. We've, you know, we've honored Sugar Free. We've honored uh, people that you might not, first thing you think about is father, right? Uh, but Sugar Free is a very involved father and, like, Love Big his mentor kids, right? too. I I seen it before. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. And um, so uh, corrupt. Um, it's quite a few. Second, uh, KK from Second to None. Um, just a, a bunch of guys that I really have involvement and relationship with. So it wasn't me just trying to pick a name. It was men that I've witnessed their fatherhood or have had conversations with about being fathers. Right. Um. So moving forward to where we are now, um, last year, I kind of stepped outside of the box and we honored the mayor of Apple Valley, Scott Nassif. Um, nothing to do with hip hop. He and I had nothing in common, you know what I mean? Um, but we met on the uh, ribbon cutting of the bridge. They opened up a bridge up in Victorville and um, he was there and I met him and we identified with each other as fathers. We talked about being fathers and you know, I just got that feeling like, man, the world, this is the point I'm trying to prove that doesn't matter where you're from, what walk of life you're involved in, but that ain't no hood like fatherhood, right? So we brought him out. We had the fire chief of Victorville received an award. 
And um, just this past Father's Day, uh, we honored uh, Derek King. He's the uh, superintendent of the Excelsior School System out there. Um, just some some solid people. We didn't honor pastors. We now it's like we are the hip hop in the room. This recognition, this honor, this topic is presented by hip hop. So it's no longer just about rappers. It's yeah. about fathers. And and you know, and that's that's one of them things. Like what you know, when you go somewhere, a social gathering, what, whatever it is, and when you start seeing what you have in common with people. It's always real powerful when the first thing you can identify is, okay, this is another father that's involved like I am. And like, you, you can go off of that. And there's so many other things to get into, but it's like you start that conversation from there. You, you know when, when you recognize another real father in the, oh, yeah. in the house. Because they know? get engaged in the conversation. Yeah, yeah. They, they have something to say. Yeah, yeah. I've right. never talked to a father about fathers in hip hop and them not have some type of input. Yeah. And that's generally how... I know who I'm gonna honor at the next awards is in that moment it's like bro I gotta salute you it's not the fathers of the year award it's not the best dad in the uh, world award it's a fatherhood acknowledgement let yes. me acknowledge you for your fatherhood and, 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 I, and on on that note too I've been seeing more and more like posts or memes or whatnot and uh, like you know the the men we we have to help we have to encourage each other too instead of always you know hating on each other or or putting down with someone or, or the way they're going about their business different than mine like support you, each other you, you know what i'm saying yeah so we got to start supporting each other more um and it's good to see that going out there more is like hey yeah. you're doing a good job keep going like we need to hear that from other men sometimes that too one, that one acknowledgement can change the trajectory of a direction of a man's life yeah to feel like man i do matter somebody do see what i'm doing and it makes you want to do better you know what i mean so shout out to all the fathers that's holding it down really and thank you back for in the day what cocaine say he was a funky father oh <laughs> yes that's right love that love that he was like for all y'all who don't do what you're supposed to you a funky father little monkey mouth ass motherfucker take care of your kids yes he said that yeah. love shout that love that you a funky father shout so out to no more Coca. funky fathers y'all what i love 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 is that you found the intersectionality of all males and what we could all find in common, which could be the bridge of empowerment to unification in our cultures and our society at all levels, right? At all different income brackets. And then like what you mentioned, instead of calling people out on their shit, call them in, yeah. show them a different way. If they ain't doing it the way you think it should be done, or if you know there's a better way, if they're falling by the wayside and they ain't doing right, they becoming a funky father, you know, bring them into fathers and hip hop and we'll we, play them the cocaine we, video. We can hold, I'm going to send, send Rabbit that, I'm going to send Shay that video. So we, we can, we can hold each video. other accountable though. You know what I mean? Without insulting each other. And that's the, like what we need to get to as men and fathers. And it though, comes for, from a place of testimony. Yeah, it's never yeah, from yeah. a place of, oh, I'm the perfect father because Lord knows yeah. I am not. Yeah. But it's being able to relate to the trials that come with that. And then maybe having gone through something that they're going through or maybe coming up on and and just that circle of support that can say hey bro don't trip we got you what, what you need how can we help so beautiful um it's growing I, I really like what you're doing over there man and i, I saw who is it was it big boy or someone you recently got yeah, to get yeah we we got a big boy out at the burning trees festival and uh yeah you know i never met him before and as soon as i started talking about fathers his face lit up and he went in his pocket and pulled out his cell phone. He yeah, like, yeah look, look, that's look, what. Look, the, these, <laughs> these are my kids right here. Look, man, I just finished texting my daughter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and 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 we were able to connect, yeah. and and he actually engaged. And like I said, you won't come across a real father that will not honor that conversation. So shout out to Big Boy, and, and he said it on there. He he is a father in hip hop, and we're still trying to connect some dots to bring him back to, to host something to celebrate father so we putting it out there that's some real that's shit. nice yeah we are gonna watch a little recap if it's okay with you and then i did send shay the cocaine you funky fight you know i motherfucking do i said she shay, did that all in the split second I sure so shay download that so we can watch the fathers in hip-hop recap and then the 
uh, PSA by Cocaine about funky motherfucking fathers. Funky so fathers. we're gonna watch that real quick, and we'll be back with Justified. What's up to my carnal Coca? What up, dog? And B-side show we got justified smith in here man talking about fathers and hip-hop and uh what yeah what's coming up next that we we should know about and you know let them know how they could tap in also well the tap in is you know the social media everything is fathers and hip-hop um right now i'm behind the scenes working out some things like i said it's taking a whole new direction to where now it's more um, of me being highly engaged with the community and the leadership, you know, in the community up there in the high desert where I'm at. Um, shout out to Councilwoman Leslie Irvin, Deborah Jones, my people Sylvia Romo. I mean, there's so many people. BMO Bank has got involved. Shout out to Connie Williams. Um, they've partnered with Fathers in Hip Hop and put some support behind us um, to be able to push this uh, journey a little further. So right now, I'm at the table trying to bring the community together, um, build bridges between cliques and crews that don't get along, but to have them to really put the heart of the community at hand. Um, and also I'm a part of a film, uh, The World Epidemic, Put the Guns Down, uh, executive produced by Ice-T and my boy Terry Carney. Yeah. And so I'm coordinating some premieres to bring that up to the high desert we just weren't a few uh film festivals over the weekend and you know we're shopping the situation with the networks and whatnot but in the meantime in between time we're gonna push the purpose and the message you know through our own communities and, and each one teach people. one man yeah man so, i love that you know um i i wanted to say because some of you were talking about earlier you just kind of you you started and then you let you know the the man upstairs kind of guide you um, did you ever know it would be guided in this direction where you are building bridges and, and working in the community is it, something bigger, you know what I mean, than, than all of us doing stuff like that? Well, really what I've realized is that it's kind of been my purpose all along. That's right. And hip hop was my, my learning ground. Yeah. Throwing events, bringing artists together, starting the JM Coalition trying to bring this DJ, that DJ, this podcast, that podcast, this producer, that producer, to realize our power collectively, right? And so those same principles that were being applied, it's just, it's on fatherhood now. And before it was fathers and hip hop, it was mafia. And that was men of faith and action, right? And so after my wife passed, 
then I was identified. I identified who those men of faith and action were. It was the fathers. Feel me? So I kind of always been on this path. And it's just developed into where it's at. It's, it's growth, you know what I mean? And um, it's all God. Because like I said, when I first started Fathers in Hip Hop, I simply wanted to do a, like a docu-film to get father stories, fathers in hip hop. And I thought that I needed, and this is just what I thought, right? I thought I needed Snoop Dogg. I thought I needed an Ice Cube. I thought I needed the higher ups to embrace this for it to move. You wanted to influence, and want, you, you wanted, wanted influence. I wanted access to their influence, right? But God whispered in my ear that fatherhood is bigger than any one man can do. Real shit. Just push yeah. that, and it will grow. And now, like I said, I am the hip-hop in the room. When I go into the room and I'm representing hip-hop, pushing a father agenda, I'm in the room with mayors, council people, congressmen, and it's not in a room full of rappers who... Love the idea, but won't get behind it because they didn't think of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So message, message. It's, it's a whole new, it's a whole new ball game, and I still want those influential folks to grab a hold of it, but it's not going to make nor break the assignment because I yeah, always say yeah. God's vision, God's provision, and He provided, and we riding West Side. That That's part. right. You know and y'all can still even do your part. Justified is busy right now. He's doing what he's doing in the political, in the community sphere but if you do know a father who is doing their part for their family doing their part for their community you could always send fathers in hip-hop a dm justified will get it and that might be somebody that you present an award to at next year's father in hip-hop event well i want to get people to start this is what i did and this, i'm telling you it's like these ideas come and i know where they come from so i'm trying to make it a habit for people not just me to pick people to honor, but who would you like to come out to the next Fathers in Hip Hop Award and get on stage and do a presentation? Now you gotta buy a VIP table, you know, but you're gonna get an official plaque. You're gonna get that moment in time to create that memory and let the person that you know you love, that you love them and give them their flowers. So that's happened. Um, I have wives coming out to the last fathers in hip hop this past week. That was beautiful. Telling their husbands what they mean to them. I mean, they even, you know, it could have been a lifetime series because they yeah. was telling, he met me when I was back in the day and I didn't have nothing and he loved it, me. You know what I mean? But <laughs> to be able to share that publicly has an impact on those watching. And I guarantee you, it made that man feel. Absolutely. Put the S on his chest like. For the rest of his life. It's a memory forever. That's why I film it, break it down, and I send them their own personalized clip. You know what I mean? You know, it, it's you know cool when your significant other recognizes your contributions, not only to the family, but in society, whatnot, at home. But, you know, it, it, it even do, it takes it to another level when they're going to let's acknowledge. Because they may not have thought to say that. But when I call and say, hey, yeah, yeah. I want you to shout out to Dr. Alika Jackson, Jarrell. Because I, I, I knew her relationship. You know, she speaks highly of her husband. I was like, would you come out and present your husband with a Fathers in Hip Hop Award, right? Set that example. Uh, and she understood the assignment. She, I was gonna, she That's showed beautiful. up and showed out. And it was like, in the moment, I'm producing the show, so I hear it, but I'm not. But boy, when I was sitting down at my computer editing and watching back the footage, cried in the car. It, it it evoked that emotion that was like man this is beautiful and and it needs to be regular it we need to normalize women celebrating their men and then you know we started the queendom right to where every that. mother's day i bring the men together to honor their wives mothers sisters baby mamas cousins you know to celebrate our women if we can learn to celebrate each other how far can we go because we'll all feel valued we'll all feel appreciated and that is going to increase our performance when we're feeling good about it. And that's what we need to get back to, too, because, you know, with all the media, all this political, all this bullshit going on in the world right now, a lot of this stuff is meant to just break us down and make us feel miserable in these areas where we're from. We need to start building our own communities back up 
and we and we'll be proud no matter how it goes down and we, and we can raise each other up instead of waiting for someone else to do it you know Beautiful. what i'm saying so, well said yeah with that being said introduce the video that we want to share if you don't mind tell us a little bit of backstory before you tell us what it, what it is like where you shot it a little bit of the theme and whatnot and then we're going to get into it she's doing her research she already knows the answers yeah <laughs> look yeah. Nah, uh, i believe i sent you hard in the paint and that's just a record, you know, that's that's talking about it's hard out here when you're trying to do something, when you're trying to move positive, um, it can get hard, right? Because there's a lot of resistance. The and devil's I, a liar. We shot the video oh, in wait. Compton in my old uh, neighborhood where I grew up in Compton. And, um, you know, it's harder to paint. Justified fathers in hip hop. That's right, man. Bang, bang. Let's keep it positive, man. Keep pushing. Let's go. Back oh, in yeah. here, man. Let's make we that got happen. Justified Smith yeah. in the house, Fathers of Hip Hop yeah. in the building, man. Um, let's talk about it, bro. You you've been it's it's been a grind, um, but it it's also when you mentioned uh, you know some of the events and the way it made you feel like it makes it worth it. Like all that work, like it, it's it's for a reason. You see something bigger than yourself, and that's I commend you for that, bro. And I appreciate it. Just yeah. like I said, to be able to look where it started and to see where it's at you know what i mean and to just really understand that you're walking in your purpose i had to start doing things that lined up with my purpose so now if it's not in my purpose there's no need for me to be involved anymore so i've stepped out of a lot of familiar places to go to uncharted territory and take the movement with me you know what i mean 
And that's, again, another beautiful way to set an example. This is an amazing single father. Like he said, he did lose single his ladies. wife. And, and he's single and maybe ready to mingle if you got all the right check marks checked off for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the bell yeah. and got everything. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> I, I got one inside scoop. If you get down on cooking, you might have a little, you know, get to oh, further right. in the line over here. With oh, him. Chef <laughs> just so. He don't got an OnlyFans. Uh, yeah, he got an yeah. OnlyDads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. Hey, man. Thanks for coming and kicking with us, man. Appreciate because, you. Uh, you know, we've been knowing each other for a while. You came through with the with other homies too to come kick you mentioned like cocaine and chill and chill man uh chill, chill man keep your head chill. up yeah free chill man and uh but uh we've been knowing each other for a while but I, it's good to hear you talk like this and about uh walking in your purpose and doing it right man for reals i mean that's that's really what it boils down to you know what i mean because um i don't try to justify being broke right but in my journey, I felt like I wanted to make the difference before I tried to make the dollar. Because if I make the difference, the, the dollar gonna come, right? Yeah. So I just been focused on making a difference and trusting God to keep me grounded and, and keep me afloat. I feel like if I'm walking in my purpose, then I gotta be good, right? Like he gonna, prov like I said, his vision, his provision. So if I'm following that vision, I'll be provided for it. It's when I step outside of my purpose that that can all I can lose it all. That's right. The foundation is set for every single one of us. I think the challenge is figuring out what your purpose is and paying attention to your feelings because you can sometimes feel when you're not in the right place. And when you are in the right place, things fall together for you. Like he said, you know, he God provides the provision, right? And and he was able to to continue and this was like funded by him all by himself at the very yeah. beginning even like I, one even of the, the awards the, and everything man one yeah. of the ones was the visa remember you did the visa gift cards too that was another well, I, time I, I, I will say that it, it's been put together by me but from day one it's been a community effort it's me being able to go on facebook and say hey who got five on it you know we used to ask who got five on the on the blunt hey who got five on giving back to the community and like i said the background i already had a following i already had people's support so when they saw me leveling up and what i was doing you know we did the walmart gift card giveaways we raised three thousand dollars in 12 days from facebook friends from facebook support no grant no loan no no help from the people for the people and that's what makes our movement so significant is that we haven't had our hand out to the man but we've come together even though it's three thousand and that might not seem astronomical but that's a lot for five dollars that's a time. the that's the right. community the doing their thing though lives, for that's sure. the community really doing their thing how can they tap in with you if they want to get involved in all that uh fathers of hip-hop everything if you want to send a cash app it's dollar sign fathers and hip-hop um and more so than just sending you know money to us go out and be a blessing to somebody go get your own walmart gift card and bless somebody and see how that fit it's a feeling you get it's like i i got addicted to giving yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like i be wanting more so i can give more I, like if i come up i know it's gonna be all good so Messy. but just experience that feeling it's addictive and again provision for the vision if you tell yourself I want to give to my community, God will give you the seed. He's going to provide the seed to plant if you desire to give it. That's right. Thank man. you so much for coming through. It's always a pleasure. I appreciate you so much, loved one. Thank you again. And, and he don't just talk about it. He's being about it. That's man. right. Shit. Don't talk about it. Brother, be about it. Yeah, man. Yeah. So now we're going to get into another amazing father in hip hop. Um, this this MC just graduated his son from I want to say high school, but it could have been college. I'm not really sure, but I know he was in his junior in high, his cap and gown. I don't think he was in junior high. Um, and yeah. yeah, and so um, he's a really good dad, and he just dropped a new video. So this one is Animal. So shout out to Quest Coast. We're gonna watch that video Ooh. next. Another Oracle Edition B Side Show. Act like you know. Let's go. Bam, 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 bam. It's been a long time coming. Got my whole team with me. It's time to get 
time to go to work, baby. You are now about to witness the strength of lyrical knowledge. Yeah. I've been in this game for years, it made me an animal I turned down contracts from the satanas, otro dia, otro rola Y'all talking shit about gold toes, but he put on for the cultura Where the fuck is y'all been at?